What's up, everybody? Uh, recently, somebody asked me to do a video on, like, a bunch of different shapes and sizes and colors and to, like, explain what makes it a poison bottle and all that stuff and uh, asking me about the uh, KC numbers, KD numbers and all that stuff. So today I'm going to give you a quick lesson for the beginners. Um on what the poison bottles were, how they come, colors, why they're called KH, you know, 18s or KT3s. So I'm going to show you, give you a quick uh, rundown of each bottle. So for starters, we're going to start off with a KC. So they call it KC because it's a cylinder, circular. So this is a fairly rare green uh, example of this bottle. Usually they're in blue. They come in amber and uh, clear also. But So that's a KC number and this is also a KC. So the KDs are diamond shaped. This too is a pretty rare, uh, it's a Lewis Bear Drug Company bottle. He's pretty hard to come by. Obviously this one's been in the ground, but it's still a fairly rare bottle. So this one too is also diamond shaped. This is real similar to the KV bottles with the uh, rounded back, which I'll show you in a little while. So don't confuse these KDs. Then we go to the KEs. KE is for uh, eight-sided octagons. So here I have a Again, a nice little rare color green. This is a rat poison. Usually come out of like Germany and Poland. There you can see it's eight sided. And then this is a uh, Jacobs bichloride. Again, another pretty hard bottle to come by. So I guess next would be KHs. So obviously for hexagon. This is a KH18. This is what I like to collect these German skull bottles. It's a pretty hard uh, color to come by. It's a much earlier uh, example than the normal, normal amber ones. And then we have the normal. This is everybody in everybody's collection. They're not to be taken. So it's just a couple different hexagon examples. It's a Manchester Royal Infirmary. This thing is pretty cool. See all the swirls in it. Then we go to, this is a KE I forgot to show you. It's a lysoform, it's a milk glass one. It's eight sided, 100 ml, has a label. Can't read it, but it has a label. So then we go to KI bottles. So that's for an irregular hexagon. So they're shaped like that. They also have these ones that are considered KIs. This is an Australian poison bottle. And 
That's a 16 ounce Bowman's. So that's KI. So then we go to the jugs for KJ. A couple different ones. There's, you know, a bunch of different sizes, but. It's just a couple jugs. For the KJs. So there's actually a couple bottles listed for KK, which was for a chemist. You know, like a chemist name on the bottle, but I don't think that really worked out so good. So this would be uh, considered a KK bottle, but I think they relisted some of them as KRs because they're rectangular, but we have K KKs, so then we have KO. A lot of these hold like ammonia, these uh, oval bottles. KO. KPs will be pottery. You can see it's from the Royal Infirmary, Manchester. It's a little pottery bottle. go with ours for a rectangular. This is a Canadian poison bottle. And this is a sheared rectangle bottle. Also got loaded with uh, some nice amber swirls in there. These are KS's. It's an Australian bottle. This is also Australian. KS. Some KTs for triangular. Then a real common uh, triloids. And then the U's. The U's are probably the best ones because there's so many different. This is a KU-10, but KU's are just unusual. So that's, you know, unusual shapes like coffins. Like a sub. Got like wedges. So pretty much anything that's not a common shape they pretty much just threw for KU I think that's a KV but you got star shapes more stars It's 
a KU-18. It's pretty rare. It's one of the lightest ones I've ever seen. It's actually got a little hint of blue to it. But uh, it's near clear. So then after the KU bottles, they go to bug poisons. So this is a bug poison. It's a kill all, bug killer. So that would be your KXs. And then last, it's a KZ, which is embalming fluid. Usually the embalming fluids are uh, large like this and square. You got the Champion, Clarks, Durfee. So this big guy too is a five-sided. German. I also kind of just want to show you, like I said, different shapes and stuff. So you have a bunch that are like coffin shaped, star shapes, skull and crossbones. You got ones with stars on them, bumps, ribs, hobnails, cross hatching. Just straight up skull crossbone to let you know that it was poisonous. So that's pretty much it. All the different shapes of the poison bottle book. Hope you liked it. Peace.